Hello homeowners and first time home buyers, really anyone that's got a home or even if you're renting, I'm gonna to talk to you about why you need one of these outlet testers and also spend some time in showing you how to use it. So let's get to the workbench and I'll show you what all of these different light combinations mean. Let's go, the writing on this thing is a little small, right? So let me try to get, see if we can get this thing focused on it. I probably should have um, mounted this on something, but on the top part it says that if you've got the middle light lit only that you've got an open ground and what that would mean is is that your ground is not connected either here on the, on the outlet itself or somewhere downstream so maybe there, this is the second outlet coming from the uh, breaker panel, and maybe it's not spliced properly in the other, in the other junction box before it comes to here. So this is telling you with the center light that you have an open ground. Okay. Then the the, the second one here is when this light is lit only, you've got an open neutral, and that would mean that the. Uh, the neutral side of the outlet is not connected either here or maybe if you've got a, a cap or a nut inside the outlet box, maybe they're not connected there or somewhere upstream towards the breaker panel, just like we talked about with the ground, may not be connected. And so then you don't have a proper circuit. The next one where you have no lights lit means sorry for the movement, it's just hard to focus, means open hot. So that would mean that you don't have the hot connected here on the outlet or it's not, or it's uh, disconnected somewhere back towards the breaker panel. And maybe even that the breaker panel is flipped off and you don't have power at all going through the wire. Then the next one is where you have the left side lit and the right side lit, you've got a, the hot and the ground are reversed. This is probably pretty annoying for you guys. So the hot and the ground are reversed. So that would mean that the ground wire here is reversed with the hot wire here or somewhere downstream they've, they've crossed, okay? Uh, and that means that this is hot right here which makes this hot. It's not a safe thing to happen. And this is, you know, you see any, anything here that is other than the last one that we're going to talk about, then you're going to need to do something about it. So the second to last one down there is when the left light and the middle light are lit. That means that the hot and the neutral are reversed. This happens often. You will find this happens. This would be the most common problem that you might find in your home or that homeowners or newbies that are not uh, that skilled in working with electricity might do. So they're not paying attention to the color of the screws here and which side is the hot and which side is the neutral. They'll sometimes put it reversed and that's a very common thing to find. And then the, the last one is, is if the two right lights are lit properly, then in that case, it's, I mean, if the two light, the two right lights are lit, then it's, it's wired properly. And that's what you want. And even if you're, if you've never used one of these before, if you've never checked your outlets at home before, I suggest buying these and check every single one of them to make sure that they're all wired properly. And you, again, it's a great way to do it because you don't have to take the outlet out to check the wires, right? And then also, if you're going to buy a home and you, most home inspectors will use these, but absolutely bring, have one with you all the time. If you're going to be checking out a home and you're serious about it, you're making an offer. If you're not having an inspection, you should at least go around and do this because this will tip you off. If you're finding a lot of outlets that are not wired properly, it, it would be a red flag to me thinking that somebody just, um, a weekend warrior did this or just a homeowner who didn't know what they were doing. Uh, but this will also help you if you are uh, replacing your own outlet that 
you could tell whether you did the job properly. So let me uh, show you at a live outlet what this would look like when it's wired properly. If you're finding this helpful, please hit that thumbs up button for me. And also, if you already knew how to do this, then please hit that like button. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what's going on with this outlet. <laughs> um, I swapped the wires around just to prove a point. This is one here, we've got the two lights on the left lit, and that means that the hot and the neutral are reversed, just like I showed you where you have the hot wire, it's supposed to be on the gold screw, and it's on the silver screw, and then you have the neutral wire that's on the gold screw, gold screw instead of the silver screw, they're just reversed. So this one would need to be changed, especially because, what's the hazard here? Um, well, you, your hazard is going to be based on the, the devices that you put in here, too. So these devices are expecting the, the hot power to come through this hole in the plug because that's going to go into your device, and the device ex is expecting that wire to have the power. instead of. And then there could be a switch inside that's going to want to release the power to the rest of the device once the switch is engaged. But if you have them reversed, then you're bypassing that switch. Okay, And the only thing that switch is going to do is complete the circuit, but the power going through the past the switch to the device could be damaging it. So this will have to switch back. Okay, and over here, we have one that is wired properly. It's correct because the two lights on the right-hand side are lit, and this is one that's completely wired properly. Now, here we have a GFCI. I'm going to show you that. And the two lights here are on, so it's wired properly. And then if we were to hit the test button, you see no lights, which means open hot. Again, like I said, that just it's feeling like there's no power, and there isn't because we hit the reset button. This would be the same if you flip the breaker at your panel, or if the wires were not wired properly and you don't have the hot connected properly or it's loose inside uh, the box someplace, you would show this, which means there's no power to this outlet. So wasn't that easy to follow? This is why every one of you needs to have one of these. I'm going to link to one of them down below where you can order it online. Not expensive. Every house needs one. Whether Even if you're renting, you just want to make sure that the things that you never know what happened during construction of the place you're renting or the last maintenance guy that was in there. Everybody needs one of these, whether you are a homeowner or a renter. And um, linking it down below, please again hit that like button or the thumbs up button for me and uh, subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot more helpful videos like this coming. Thanks for watching everyone and we will see you next time.